Well, welcome back to Main Street Living. Now, uh, as we know as sports fans, a lot of us are just waiting for our favorite sport to continue, while unfortunately, baseball fans are waiting for this sport to get underway. And here with us today, director of NOC Baseball, uh, NOCA Baseball, uh, Joey Kevseris. How you doing, my man? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Hey, well, thanks for being here. Um, I see you're also a partner at Big Easy uh, Sportsplex, which opened in 2009. And you have a history of baseball yeah. that runs in your family. Um, you know, how how has the baseball recruiting been affected because of COVID-19? It's been massively impacted. Um, a lot of the kids that you would think would normally grade at like a Division One level um, mm. are going to fall shy of that. And, and mainly it's because COVID, the NCAA has ruled that COVID – Due to COVID, they'll give everyone, not just seniors, um, an extra year of eligibility. And so every program is different. Some programs like University of Wisconsin, they did not accept that. They said, no, we're all going to move on. But then other programs have let the individuals make the choices. So it's it's really very fluid, um, but it's a massive impact on, on how they're recruiting. Yeah, I would think so. Um, you know, like how has it been, you know, what have you been able to do to help these high school student athletes uh, during this pandemic? So what we did was when it first hit, we, we let things kind of get settled and, and, and try to use safety. That was always the main goal mm -hmm. and because we're, we're partners at Big Easy Sportsplex and it's an 80,000 square foot indoor space, got some outdoor space. We figured we could do some socially distant baseball and just do pitcher versus batter. So we did that where a pitcher just faced a batter, no infielders, no, no umpire, a catcher. Um, had the kids shuffle in, shuffle out, so no one was ever around each other. Even changed the balls out, you know, every yeah. batter. That went fantastic, and we live streamed it and got it to as many college coaches as we could. Um, and then we kind of compounded that or parlayed that with doing a fundraising type event where every everybody brought in twenty bucks and mm. every player that did it. We put that in a pot that went toward local restaurants that were getting crushed by the stuff because they couldn't make ends meet. And then they made meals to be delivered to COVID units throughout the throughout the area. So it was a really good thing we did. And that kind of blossomed into what we thought about once we could get outside. Well, why don't we have to put it on TV? We have to get bigger than just, you know, our own iPad, you know, filming and at bat. And um, that's where, you know, CST and Cox and everybody came in. And that, that it's been a huge impact for these kids. Absolutely. You know, and you spoke a little bit about the donation and the proceeds from that. Um, what was really the driving force behind doing that? So I'm, I'm personally in medical, like my, my Clark Kent job during the day is is medical. And, uh, and so my father was an OBGYN. Um, I'm one of seven children, the last of seven. All four of my older brothers all played you know, college baseball. So mm -hmm. putting baseball, medical and then the New Orleans vibe and culture are in, inside of it really was a perfect fit for me. Um, I also have a son that's involved. He's a junior in high school, going to be a senior. So there's a lot of personal connections to it. And, and we yeah. thought, how can we do this to take care of all of these components? Who needs it? Who's, how do we get a win, win, win? And that was, that was the, the drive behind it. Absolutely. Now, with the state's reopening, uh, as well as your complex soon, I see that you are taking uh, very, uh, you know, uh, 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 extreme safety precautions. Like right. you, you say that we're not just going to rub things down with lights. Right. Like, can you expound on that just a little bit? I think the biggest thing is that we have enough space at the complex to to be socially distant or to be distant enough and to, to kind of enforce the greater standards than are already out there. And we okay. also have access to a microbial shield um, that when you spray it on, it, it gives you up to four to six weeks of protection. So we've used that on everything, all the materials. I mean, it's a, it's a spray that goes on once a week. And it's we got it through a, a certain organization here in, in New Orleans that has these contracts with big healthcare facilities. So okay. we took a lot of extra steps. Oh, cool. Now, uh, here's a big question. Will there be summer baseball camps this year, Joey? Yeah, I mean, we're we're running them at Big Easy right now. We're doing one called the College Players uh, Camps, where it's a bunch of local college kids that play at Tulane and, and Loyola, Spring Hill, even a couple guys mm -hmm. on LSU, mixed in with some of our pro guys who have not yet to go back as well. Mm -hmm. We're doing that right now. Obviously, they're limited in numbers. You can only get a certain amount in based on the space and, and the utility um, but you're going to see those really start popping up, especially as people enter or, or regions enter back into phase three. That's mm -hmm. going to say, well, we can we can do that um, and provide, you know, a level of safety with a level of instruction. So uh, okay. it's coming. You're, you're going to see it, but the summer's going to end and you're going to get into school in August. And, and then that's a whole <laughs> nother topic. 
Absolutely, man. Now, um, you know, real quickly before we go, how can people get in touch with you and find you guys on the web? Uh, so you can go to uh, NOCA baseball.com, N O C A baseball.com. That's our website. Uh, forgive us. We're not super web savvy folks. Yeah. We're all, you know, 40 plus that, that try to do our <laughs> best, but there's a lot of good information there. You can always send us an email and then big easy is where you can go to, to kind of see all the programs and up to date kind of resources they have at what they're doing, but everything's back up and running. It's, it's yeah. just, it looks similar, but you could tell us a different vibe. Absolutely, Joy. Well, we certainly do appreciate you joining us here on Main Street Living. And thank you. Uh, I know what you guys are doing. It's going to hit another one out the park and people will be ready to get back there to baseball again. So thank you so much. And you guys stay safe. Yep. Thanks to guys like you for helping out with this.